This is KTMA TV 23, Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his voice is getting like him, so they shot him in the space. Was then movies the worst ever made Joe says when you got lemons you make lemonade now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends robot roll call camera servo Cool. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, just to beat yourself, it's just a show. I should really just relax. For mystery science theater 3000. We've got to talk. I'm done talking. I'm all talked out. What's wrong with you anyway? I'll change. Well, then change, damn you. I've changed. Not that quickly. It doesn't count. You've got to stop it. It doesn't make sense. You're killing us, Clay. We're not mad scientists. We're just angry. Forget it. It will cost too much to change the letterhead. My god, I... I wake up this morning, I've got a mad scientist for a partner, and now you've turned into Florence Henderson. Oh, and is that so wrong? We need a change. New outfits, a splash of color, maybe. Uh, sorry to interrupt you two, but, uh, are we still doing this movie thing, or what? How long have you been listening? Oh, uh, since Thursday. Thurs- My casserole! Oh, uh, right, the movie. Um, it's Mighty Jack. But Larry! Movie set! Oh! What the? Who's that? I hope he knows what he's doing. At least they're at Epcot. Roger. Is that a tree or somebody's lane? Where are you going? Wow, Dean. Ah. It's gonna blow. Run, Eliza, run. Nap shot. What is this movie about? It's a Sandy Frank thing. People are shutting themselves in lockers. Must be a board meeting. Everybody's running for Mystery Science Theater. Walk, don't run. Run, don't walk. They're playing hide and seek. It's always good to hide at the bottom of an elevator shaft. I have this album. Does anybody really know what time it is? Start submerging procedure. Seems like 
make an awful lot of trouble just Water to level, launch 50 a nuclear feet. submarine. 75 feet. Wherever. Engines on. Depth is very uh, low on this movie. Maximum. Unlock gates. Unlock your head. Whoa. This better be good, whatever is going to happen. Cool. It looks like your brother, Crow. Don't talk about him. Surface. Well, they could have done that. Awesome. Too bad your head's in the way. Could be the really slowest beginning to a movie ever. All this action, and we haven't even seen the credits yet. Sandy Frank is all you need to know. Good. Flight position. Present speed, Mach 2. Increase, point 0.8. Roger. These guys all dressed like the Duncan Yo-Yo champs. Confirm course. On course, Wouldn't sir. You? What's our speed now? Present speed, 2.8, 2.9, 3. Better than last time. Good. Is that Matthew Broderick? Speed, Mach 3. Test now completed. No, it's Matthew Blodlick. What's that Seiko watch doing in a Japanese that in 10 film? minutes and 43 seconds. That's excellent. I'm extremely pleased with your progress. You sound like All it. All right. Return to base. Let's go home. OK. Uh, 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 mighty, mighty Jack. Jack. Oh, feeling good with Mighty Jack. Mighty Jack. Mighty Jack. Have the maple syrup, please. Featuring Haideko Nitani, Naoko Kokmoko, Shirishi Niyami, Haideko Amano Mamoto, Manosari Nihei, Watako Aikide, Akira Kurosaga, Sieko Fanfuge, Noriaki Inoue, Yashita Tanaka, Mitsubiya Ohoyo, and Izuru Yagigi. Keep going. Produced by Iji Tambura, Yasugi Morita, and Ito. Thank you very much. Kasai Boro Production, 1986. Uh, don't forget about the fan club, okay, everybody. 66. Shinichi Sekazaiwa, Izayaba Awa. Jesse Vogel. Fan club newsletter, everybody. Two weeks. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a fan club newsletter in two weeks, everybody. Send those cards and letters coming. Send them. Whatever. Thank you. My head is not too bad. I love a movie with lots of Japanese and massive U.S. Sex cameraman? That's... I like big, gloppy water. Big... Kazuo Mitsuta! In a major speech today, the president issued a warning to the members of the United Nations, declaring that if they continue to fight among themselves, they face an even greater danger from an unexpected source. The organization, known as Q, equipped with the most advanced Whee! weapons, is determined more than ever to pursue its goal of complete conquest of the Earth. But he can't do that again. To carry out its diabolical scheme, it is financing fanatical groups of terrorists to create havoc and destruction among friendly, peace-loving countries. 
But all President over one book. That the civilized world can no longer stand by silently and tolerate these suicidal ventures. Kitty. Therefore, the president proposes to form a team of specially trained men and women to combat the organization known as Q and stop their fiendish plans to rule the world. This team will be codenamed Mighty Jack. Using the latest technology, Mighty Jack will have as its mission the annihilation of the organization known as Q. Sounds but painful. it will not be an easy task, for Q is clever. Q is near, far, everywhere. Near, far, and Start. everywhere. The Mighty, Jan Mighty Jack Dance Hour. Tokyo, 10 a.m. Saigon, 7.30 a.m. Moscow, 7 a.m. Hmm. And Paris, 2 a.m. Minneapolis, 6.10. They're not Japanese. They're not dancing either. They're not even supposed to be in this film. What the heck? He's thinking. Huh? Mm -hmm. Nice stir. Monsieur, oh. won't you stay with me a few more minutes? Who could resist? He could. Never knew you could get a trumpet sound from those. These Japanese are always coming up with some crazy nutty technology. It's the same song. Pretty good radio. I wonder what he's thinking about. Maybe he's looking for a rest spot. Why? Well, probably maybe he has to go to the bathroom or something. That'd be just like him. Oh! Drive safely. School's in session. Nice back. Just go around. He had that coming. No problem. He'll get the bend. No, you can't drive through. Just relax, Mr. Atari, and enjoy the ride. It's a beautiful night. They're Look, playing games with Mr. You're Atari. Doing? Your altitude is 2,000 feet. I'm sure you'll enjoy the view. Good night. I hope he's got a cigarette. Come in. Doesn't even have a secretary. Real high security. It's regarding Mr. Atari, Colonel. I made several calls to Paris to try to get more detailed information. On the day he disappeared, Mr. Atari left a cabaret in Montparnasse at 2 in the morning, drove past the Port d'Orléans heading south, and then he suddenly disappeared along the highway somewhere. And the airports? Nothing as yet. I called both the Le Bourget and the Orly police. They think that it could be a case of robbery. Robbery? All right, that'll be Not all. Not kidnapping? Thank you. Sir. It's definitely not a case of robbery. That's what we thought. I need better contact Mighty Jack. Is he thinking? We're on the way to Mighty Jack. All aboard that phone. phone. They're taking us to Mighty Jack on the Mighty Jack Express. Oh, God, he's going to dial all the numbers. Hello. Is that you, Catherine? Yes, it is. 
Hmm. Tastes good with that apple. Here's the message from Colonel Yabuki. I want you to rescue a certain man. He disappeared suddenly near Paris. He's very important to Mighty Jack. It could be a dangerous mission, so be careful. Is that mighty important or very important? That's the man. Oh, that's Martine. How interesting. Oh, you know a lot of girls who look like that? This one I do. She's I a like a lot dancer. of girls who look like that. Mm. Quit She's playing with that lighter. That's the man we're looking for. Hmm. So he's our next assignment. What about her? She'll be mine. His name is Harold Atari. He's a professional mountaineer and an expert in cartography. Atari. No. Oh. Mr. Atari was last seen driving near the Port d'Orléans. Then he vanished without a trace. Look up. Near Paris? Yes. But I doubt whether the kidnappers would still be in the vicinity of Paris. But Paris is beautiful this time According of year. According to Colonel Yabuki, Paris in the, the spring. Q could be behind it. They managed to kidnap a man like that as easily as a ten-year-old. This is not an easy case. Nice hair. We don't know who they are or their hiding place. Perfect. You've got a flapper in your nose. Piece of green stuff Could in be your another teeth. wild goose chase. There is one thing, though, that might help us. Mr. Atari was carrying a <coughs> secret transmitter. You know the frequency? On the 20-meter band. No, he only carried it once in a while. It's got a pretty long range. <laughs> yes. Oh. Its range could be nearly 700 miles. <coughs> or further, it all depends on the Ticket. environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wonder why he's so important. His name, he's heir to the Atari fortune. Mm. Says here that he's vital for the success of Mighty Jack's mission. To give it top priority. He owns so the secret to synchronization. Mountaineer and map expert. That's not enough. I only know what the colonel told us. Jerry, we must find that wavelength. We'll scan the area with the electro scout. Great Roger. Idea. Uh, right. Strap on your mighty jack crotch cages. Here. Catch. Good thing it wasn't in 3D. That apple could have killed somebody. painful. My God, it's a microscreen razor. It's a lady the pillotator thing. <coughs> Them hair thing. The exoscout. Usually those things come assembled already. Hope they don't have to paint it. We could be here a while. It just got promoted from Weeblo. That's the part that makes it go. It's a giant crash mobile. I didn't know jets made noise underwater. Seem to have forgotten the pilot. <coughs> Let me out. Nice entrance. What's have the you? secret to Mario Brothers? How does it work? And what's the formula to Orange Julius? Hey, we're right here. Right in front of your faces. Use the chair. To get a better look. Looks like some kind of tropical island. But where? His lips aren't even moving. That's why he's so important. He's the world's greatest ventriloquist. But he's no dummy. Boy, I bet he'd just die for a portable CD player right about now. Or a lighter. What am I supposed to do with this? Come on out! I don't care who you are! Oh, that turned it into a no-smoking section when that thing turned around. That's why I had to throw the cigarette away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Why don't they show themselves? Jimmy Who Smiley. are they? <laughs> He's happy. What about that transmitter? We haven't located it yet. What's being done to find it? Captain Tender and Lieutenant Jerry are out searching with the electroscope. What if it's out of range? Well, the maximum range is 700 miles. But there shouldn't be any problem if it's within that radius. Hmm. There's one slight problem, though. Mr. Atari doesn't know he has the transmitter on him. Then he won't know that we... You see, Catherine, I had it issued merely as a precaution. And then Mr. Atari was called away, very suddenly, before he was instructed in its uses. If he doesn't find it, then... Sooner or later, he'll discover that he has it on him. And it'll be very painful. Hey, what's this in my pocket? Edible buttons. The only way to survive. You can't pick a lock with a button. I don't care where you took your secret agent training. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd either. Whoa. Must be that laser blazer. They said it was a loud suit, but... Oh, I... I... Foreshadowing. Japanese jumping garbage cans. The wave of the future. Very well. Very unstable. When are you coming back? I'm not sure. Don't stay away too long. We need you here. You've always been one of our best men. I don't Thank you, sir. like the way he's looking at him. Oh, do you see that box there? That suit. It's my parting gift to you. Make sure you wear it on this mission. It's just darling. It smells funny. It's not really me, but uh, since it's a gift. Oh, I get it. Hear anything? Puts the mighty in the jack. It's no use. I'm not getting a signal. Take off those I'm earphones. I'm going to try further west. Why do they keep pretending like they have jets? Quick, my gun sock. Shoelaces make an excellent dental floss when you're trapped in a cell. That's true. You Never forget about hygiene. It. And when you've got spaces between your teeth like him, use he your could use a garden hose. Oh, mint. It's a foot deodorant. It's a breath mint. And spare change. I don't think he's in the right condition for mints. And it's a little roach motel. Yeah. Just pack a little suit There's line. gotta be a point where he stops ripping a, a part of his clothing and finding stuff. I don't think so. I think it does. It's like a production act. Little jars of Carmex. It'll take a while, but he's going to build a mini helicopter and fly out of there. If only he would have worn his other pants. Yes, with the rocket jock. Then he eats it. No. I'm making a Polish sausage. He had that in his chest the whole time. Hmm. Hmm? They might be monitoring it. Ba, 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 Brad. It's gone again. There's one thing pretty sure, though. That was on the 20-meter band. Location? It's much too far to figure out, sir. Try to get the general direction. Pacific Ocean. Oh, That's good. about Narrow as general as you get. Ah, Jerry, look. Hope it's one of ours. Look, Jerry, a near miss. Can't 
do that. Hmm, how to drive a boat. Hmm, 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 hmm. Doctor, I got this awful headache. Sounds like you're you have an again. awful head. No, no, it's not that at all. It's those crazy radio signals. They get louder and softer and softer and louder. They're driving me out of my mind. And so I started to but bang I my head against the wall. They're transmitting about every ten minutes. Uh, not Ooh, exactly urine either. specimens. Uh, something suspicious, though. There's no station on the 20-meter band. What's that? You say it's on the 20-meter band? Yes. Maybe that's Atari. Try to get the exact direction of those signals. Do it immediately. Couldn't you give me some medicine first, Doctor? Just take anything. Here's an aspirin. Take a couple. Uh, oh. Oh. When did you start hearing them? Well, I picked up the first signals a few days ago. I was trying to get headquarters, but reception was bad, so I changed wave bands and noticed it. Oh, Doctor, that's it. See if you can get the exact location. Yes, sir. This is my last chance. I must risk it. the signal. It's very close. It's him, all right. It's Atari. Stop him transmitting those signals. Yes, Master. He's the most aware guy I've ever seen. Missed. It's okay. The room will burn up Are and take care gone? of it. Yes, sir. Only they lasted over five minutes this time. Good. Did you get the location? Yes. Seven zero seven zero. Doctor. Sunnybrook Lane. What are you going to do with that? Doctor Hyde heard signals on our emergency band. Then he drew a straight line. They seem to come from this direction. Mm. The frequency is the same as on Mr. Atari's transmitter. But we still haven't found the location. Well, there's no island in that area. It's seventy seventy. It could be a ship. They say the transmitter was stationary. Then it must be an island. Well then, we'd better send out Mighty Jack. Whoever that is. Hunt him down with Mighty Jack. We'll link Jack. up with Mighty Jack soon. Yes, sir. Everyone's looking forward to Mighty Jack. This sounds popular. All right, full speed ahead. Yes, sir. Course southwest. We must be careful. That man's still their hostage. You got to be careful. You're wearing a vest pantsuit. <coughs> Looks bad. Mr. Atari. What do you want? I a want -game. you to tell us about your mission. Never. Please don't make it difficult for us. As long as you cooperate, no harm will come Run to you. Run some bolts through me. Those lights are capable of blinding you. I'm not afraid. I'll keep my eyes closed, but I won't answer any questions. Very well. You're being very foolish. They're going to can him in his own juices. Eyes, and then you'll be blinded for life. Uh, Tell us Get out of thing. here. Right. I don't want to see this. Well, I want to see this. Please. I don't know. I don't know anything. Atari, you mustn't underestimate the strength of Q. Our agents are everywhere. Paris, Berlin, London, Madrid. Why did they send you to Paris? I went there to meet a business colleague of mine. And then I did a little sightseeing. It is no use, darling. I promise we'll let you go. But first, you have to tell us everything we want to know. 
You can't hold out much longer. I'll ask you once again. Where is Mighty Jack's base? <laughs> I've never heard of Mighty Jack. What a stubborn man you are. I hope your eyes are still closed. Now for the last time, where is Mighty Jack's base? All right, you win. I'll tell you what you want to know. Just turn off... Oh. Hmm. Well, what are we going to tell him this time? We don't have to tell him anything. He'll just laugh. The book says he'll just laugh. Who's going to tell him? Uh, well, it's it's between you and me. We welded Gypsy's lips together. And, and Servo, as long as your hand is going to be welded there, you might as well give me a scratch. Oh. Uh, oh. You know, maybe we should stand by the heat exchange duct so we can try to blend in. Um, you know, I've got a funny urge to apply for an arts board grant. What are you oh, guys... Jesus, oh, Jesus! What are you guys doing? You're all welded together. You kind of look like a microbrewery. It's a little something we learned in the Boy's Life book of safe but naughty practical jokes. And our shadow kind of looks like a Chinese dragon. Do you think it works? Uh, no. Do you think it's funny? Mm-mm. No. Well, what what do you think is funny? Well, I think it'd be funny if you uh, were all welded together and then were wearing uh, women's foundation garments. Oh, oh, good idea. <laughs> now that's funny. Funny, but uncomfortable. Not me. I'm wearing the teddy. <laughs> Let's go to a commercial. I feel like Benny Hill. I don't know how important he is, but he's sure giving us a lot of trouble. No trouble at all. This is a joyride. Huh? When he finds out that Mighty part. Jack's on the way to rescue him, he'll jump for joy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? A signal. You jumping for joy? I'm practicing to be a bouncer. Calling Mighty Jack. Calling Mighty Jack. Come in, Mighty Jack. Respond immediately. Mighty this Jack. is Mighty Jack. We have a nuclear missile aimed directly at you, but we have no intention of attacking you. We only demand that you turn over Mighty Jack to us in exchange for Mr. Harold Atari's life. It's Are a group, you dork. Are they it's all Mighty fire. Jack? Mm. It's a code name. We have already it's a rock band. This demand to Colonel Yabuki. Do you read me, Mighty Jack? How do we know that Mr. Atari is still alive? Wait a moment. And Here's his body. Changing him for Mighty Jack. Who is this Atari anyway? Who's Mighty Captain Jack? Jack? All we know is that he's someone very special. Hello, Mighty Jack. It's me, Harold Atari. Mr. Atari, Mighty Jack will rescue you. You'd better rescue me. I don't feel like being left out here to rot. Boy of all the... Say, who does he think he is? And be quick about it. Unless you're all frightened pigeons. Boy, that's the last straw. Pigeon yourself. Let's rescue him. If you don't think you can handle the job, you might as well turn around and go home. You listen to that? Well, I've had enough. All right, let's go home. Why should we save him? You know, I admire his courage. Do Sounds like a jerk. Mighty Jack. Well, what have you decided? We read you, all right. We'll we need a little you. time. Very well. We'll take this up with Colonel Yabuki. Oh, hello. Here's an Is angle we haven't used yet. Conference? What's the matter? So you finally revealed your true colors. You're the one who betrayed us. I'm disappointed in you. Accept the proposal they've offered you. Atari's life in exchange for Mighty Jack. <laughs> Unless, Colonel, you would rather exchange your life for Mighty Jack. Take the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop the gun. And what does she get to exchange her life for? <laughs> She's dead. Mighty dog. Bring the lights on full. Good, a rough. Somebody's got to pay. 
Hot flashes. This secretary will self-destruct in five seconds. She's dead, sir. I believe she had swallowed some sort of lethal capsule. And then it exploded inside her, as if it had been triggered off by remote control. That's a lot to derive from a large burst of light. But that's what she's paid to do, I guess. Wow, the ships just get better and better. Come back as soon as you've scouted the island. Okay? Roger. He's just too happy for a frog man. He's not a frog man. He's a Japanese guy. He's a mighty frog man. I bet he's got a, a drip-dry tuxedo under that. Wouldn't you? Oh, of course, he got it. He's on his way into Jackie Gleason's home. Sounds like Miles Davis is over. Prince never had more fun. Doesn't anybody own any light bulbs? They spent it all oh, on there's miles. one. They spent it all on prime rib. Mmm. What's this prime rib kick you're on? It's a prime rib I just got off. He's got a cow on his back. What's taking him so long? <sighs> he knows everything. Swim, he can shoot, he can score. He's a mighty <laughs> jack of all trades. Who are you? You're Atari, huh? Yes, I'm Harold Atari. I was sent by Mighty Jack to rescue you. Really? Why don't you jump for joy? Instead of jumping for joy, I'm crying at your stupidity. What stupidity? You came to free me, but all you did was imprison yourself. What? Hmm? You doofus. Not again. <sighs> This happens every week. And I already used all the things in my down, mighty jacket. Relax. Looks like you'll be here for a while. Here, try one of these. There's oh, a that'll there. solve everything. Try one of these, they'll make food it? come out of the wall. Why don't they just crawl out the window? Oh. It's protected. Hope he doesn't have a cold. Dirty. Rotten. Tell me. Pig like. Is there a way Guys. to contact Mighty Jack? There sure is. Just bake biscuits. He'll come a-running. Mighty Jack loves Calling Mighty rich Jack. taste of biscuits. Calling Mighty Jack, it's Jerry. Mighty Jack, I see you finally made it. Where's their installation? On the south side of the island. How's Atari? He's okay. How's the food? And the atmosphere? There's no atmosphere. It's under the water. <sighs> Good food. Hello, Mighty Jack. No I'm on the island now. I'm going to try and rescue them. Yes, sir. But first, a snack. Kids can't resist a Mr. Blister pistol. It's a mighty snack. Ooh, that's a long one. It's gonna clean his car. Then fix your wagon. It's probably a cane. It's a grease gun. It's a sausage stuffer. It's, it's a cake a... decorator. It's a poodle. It's a time waster. Just ours. 
Ah. Ah. Jerry, where are you? I'm in a small I'm room. I'm in here. here. You follow the long corridor. It Get us a different room. movie. Okay. Tough guy, eh? He knows all the moves. He moves right, but can he shoot? With something that size, it's not important. Crow, pass the pork rinds. You, Captain? Door's locked. Yeah. Not again. Uh-oh. They're trying to kill us with poison gas. Hold your breath. It's just a heavy perfume. Hold still. Too bad he threw his handkerchief away. <laughs> Come on. Run. All right, engines on. Very yes, sir. Combat stations. That's right up. I love that. It moves like a mighty jack. got to say is more thrust. I don't know. That's his answer to everything. Mm. Uh-oh. This is, looks like a direct hit. No. What are the chances of that? It could happen that way. They're heat-seeking missiles. We needed some plot seeking missiles. Or just a flying turtle. Let's go after them. It's no use. Their speed is much faster than ours. I can't believe it. Can't outrun them. Can't outact them. Right, your enemy. Anyway, we so save we can the target, and that's all that matters. Captain, I think we ought to destroy the island completely. Yeah. Tommy, let's go back to the island. Yes, sir. Hey, wait us. a minute. Did they get him off the island? Yeah. It happened during the commercial, I guess. Hmm? I don't like that guy. Who does he think he is? Careful. He might hear you. He's a VIP. Yeah, you don't say. We risk our necks to save his life, and now he's giving orders. We'll be over the target very soon. Say, Captain. Should we drop a few bombs? It'll keep them quiet for a while. Good idea. Who would have thought of that? Let's drop some hints, too. Nothing appeases an island more than a couple of bombs dropped on it. The good thing is that this is the island that has Gilligan on it. Which is a relief for all of us. You know... Sir, well, why, all those years on the island, why didn't they just eat Gilligan? 
Jump on this bit, little buddy. You know, not everything can be negotiated with Boston cream pies. Or coconut cream pies. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we got that worked in again this week. <laughs> now, let's go home. You'd think they could have fixed a two-foot hole in the boat, too. <laughs> I see they take the liberty of cutting the escape scene out of the movie. You have not destroyed us, Mighty Jack. We will retaliate for this. You have only made us stronger. You will return and annihilate you forever. <laughs> How's the letter going to come back in the Big, scary deal. Wow. Well, only 22 letters of the alphabet left, you know, because uh, L and M got um, kicked out for smoking. You're still missing one. And P? P. What happened? It couldn't Find hold it. Back to base. Couldn't hold not itself. To get off. Those were the orders from headquarters. <laughs> they all look so That's smart, that. dressed the up was like that. Successful, wasn't it? Yeah, but I didn't enjoy They're it. They're all after all. Why not? Well, you see, uh, there was this guy. Mighty Jackets. Uh-oh, he's the head of Mighty Jack. Huh? Allow me to introduce... Major Harold Atari, Mighty Jack's new commander. He oh. assumed his duties as of today. Wow, think what I said about him. Looks like I'm on KP. I always liked you. Welcome aboard. Commander, the captain is your executive officer. Mm. Mm. Captain. You'll be spending a lot of time with it's me. It's an honor, sir. Major, Captain, Captain, Colonel, Colonel, Major, Sergeant, Captain. Lieutenant Major, Jerry. Colonel. Sir, it's good to see you. I'd like to thank you for rescuing me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was nothing. You're right, it was. And I thought you were nothing. Sir, allow me to introduce our other crew members. This and so, Eddie. with its new commander, Cubby. the Mighty Jack team is complete. Roy. Annette. Ready to set off on further Darlene. Roy. Roy. Ready to combat the forces of evil and corruption wherever they oh, exist. Go. Ready to fight. All right, let's get out of here. Wait, I want to meet the rest of the crew. Him. And above all, Come on. to destroy the organization. Oh, Come here, you. Yeah. Prevent it from achieving its goal oh, of creating oh, havoc God. among friendly nations and its mad pursuit of world domination. Rooster, does anybody think this is funny? Oh, now the robot on Lost in Space. Now that was funny. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. <laughs> <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> well, of course it was funny. That was a great line. Well, he had great writers. Let's face Important. it. We don't know what humans think is funny. You're right. Take Joel, for example. Last week he thought sending electrical charges through me was funny. Now he thinks that wearing women's clothing is funny. You know, maybe it's time to destroy him. Nah. No, it's fatal for humans. There's no reboot system. And get this, no backup copy. <laughs> no backup copy? No, now that's, that's funny. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Oh, Warning. danger, danger, danger. Oh, I love that bit. Oh, movie oh. time. Danger, Will Robinson. has been a sudden wave of terrorist attacks in a number of capital cities. Several factors indicate that these terrorists belong to a secret organization with agents in every country. They are equipped with the latest nuclear weapons. Ah, uh, excuse you me. You again. <laughs> agents in every country, would that be Amway?
I feel like a mighty jack. Three, two, one, fire! Oh, I dropped my dots. I'll get them. I'm stuck. Uh. Hey, come on. Get up. Oh, I'm all sticky now. Moral, look at that one. You should really mop this room out, Joel. Gives me an idea for a Halloween costume. Save us! Huh? We're turning to ice! Please save us! Please! That must be Mr. Freeze. Please! Should I ring a bell with you, Crow? Somebody's uh, freezing like that? Yeah, I, I don't want to watch this part. I don't want to watch any of it. We're free! Free from our bondage! Come, ride freely with us through the sky. Excuse me, I just get majestic one of once in a while and blow a rod. That's okay. Pack of luckies and a menthol sing sing. My God, it's my watch. Atari here. We have problems. What? They've destroyed the installation. <laughs> the artificial island's gone. Yes. <coughs> I thought we got free installation. So. It's Q again. Mm -hmm. We urgently need no, a titanium me. alloy for a top priority military research project. How soon can you be ready for redeployment? Well, let's see. I have to shave, and then I'll want to eat a decent breakfast with toast, scrambled eggs, and black coffee. <laughs> well, if that's the case, take your time. I'd be here in three minutes. And don't forget, I want scrambled eggs with lots of toast and butter, and I want the coffee black and very hot. Mm. To start with, uh, I'll have some orange juice. Yes, sir. And don't burn the toast. <laughs> yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> That's crazy, Engines mighty on. Jack. Engines on. He sure likes his toast. Secret <laughs> agent humor. This is all to make toast, too. This is just Submerge. for breakfast. Submerge. Eggs. Oh, look at that orange juice. Water yep. level, 50 feet. Hmm. Unlock gates. Unlock gates. Unlock gates. Butter. Toast them. We'll first search the area in the Arctic zone. Yes, yes sir. Firm course? On course, sir. What's our present speed? Fast. Mach 2. Mach 2. Maintain speed and proceed Mighty in the direction Jack north, Mac northwest. Two. Yes, sir. Three. Four. Tank with him. Hey, hang ten, ho daddies. We're banking back the other way now. Do the mashed potato. Do the Watusi. Uh oh. Do the swim. It's getting ready to give him the white glove inspection. Sir, what's that? Copy. Huh? It's a battle station. Oh, it's just an iceberg. We'll be at the North Pole in space. five minutes. Yeah, this guy used to pilot the Titanic. Oh, just an iceberg. Fill up on coffee, fellas. We're heading to Antarctica. My father was a railing in the Titanic. Oh, no. Jimmy Swagger. Jack Webb. Ernie Pyle. Frank Gorsham. Enemy approaching. Jack and Jerry Mathis, Mathis launch missiles. The pronto. 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 Pronto, pups. I prefer the football. See the, the enemy has now gone. Close missile sights. Bet they used a lot of foam. That was Q, all right. Tree flock. A clever hiding place. Don't say flock, okay? We'll just wait just till we're ready to cooler. attack. Okay. Gotcha. Our first duty is to go inspect Walk the frozen off. island. Okay. 
Paris. Tokyo. South America. Holding position. There's no trace of the station at the bottom of the sea. Maybe they succeeded in... He didn't in put his it. arm down. He was just kidding. They could have removed it in separate sections. Yes. Though I don't think they had time to dismantle it. Never Eddie, stopped him before. Yes, sir. Put on your diving suits and scout the whole area. Yes, sir. Then cluck like a chicken. Track them on the screen. Yes, what sir. What kind of chicken? Keep radio contact. Yes, sir. Fried chicken bird. Hey, did we ever get those scrambled eggs? They're working on it. That's what they're scouting for. Good kick on that guy. Almost looks real. It well, is. I don't think we have to worry about that. Well, it's no SST death flight. There's your fan club information. <clears throat> We're going to have a newsletter out in a Look, couple sir. of weeks. Hurry up. Get your letters in. Now. Load the rockets. Go ahead, go write them now. We'll wait for you. Uh-oh, tracer rockets. Fire! Silkworm rockets. Yes, sir! Edit one. Edit two. E. Ba-boom! Frog legs, man. Jerry, reload rockets. Yes, sir. Tastes like chicken. Mary, keep tracking them. Yes, sir. Present I think one of them's hurt. Parcheesi. <laughs> laser gun, laser gun. Laser gum? The gum that goes kablooey? Don't be ridiculous. Frogmen would have been pissed right? in the back of the spine Answer. so they could be dissected. Answer. Really pissed them off. We're going after them. Get ready. Yes, sir. Mary, I was going radio That's headquarters. That's D-I-T-H. Yes, sir. Dr. Hyde, you take over. Yes, sir. Now, cluck like a chicken. What kind of chicken? Fried chicken bird. Like a henway? What's, What's a henway? Oh, about four or five pounds. That's no ice sculpture. Oh. What was the research agency's conclusion? I don't know. They haven't announced it yet. But there's one thing that bothers me, sir. The plot? There was a strange cargo ship in the harbor. I had the feeling that it was spying on our installations. I tried Sounds to paper. get its nationality. It's a ship. But then it vanished suddenly. Hmm. That would, would be you recognize it again? Yes. I'm pretty sure. How many invisible well, ships I are there? Well, then you want to do a little sightseeing along the docks. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Here is that report from the Technical Research Agency. Thank hmm. you, sir. They believe the island had no density. It was only H2O. That means no mass of land, merely solidified water. Then it should be floating on the surface because of the specific gravity. I can't believe it could sink to the bottom of the ocean without it's melting in the warm water. It's, it's against all the laws of physics. Hmm. This movie is against all laws of physics. One thing is said, to melt the ice, they required intense heat. Oh, there's another possibility. Q has found a way to convert molecular energy. Sorry. Various scientists have been working on it, but Q may have found the solution. It would be tragic if such an important scientific discovery were used only to serve evil purposes. Q is powerful. They may have been able to infiltrate our own research centers. Or maybe they have been able to bribe some of the scientists working for us. Who's been involved in such research? Hmm. Well, principally Dr. Takebander of Japan and also Dr. von Muller from West Germany. Uh-huh. Dr. Takebana is a visiting professor from Oxford. He travels a Why great deal. Why are we deal. focusing in on that picture Could frame? they have some connection with the... The director painted the Could painting. Could they be agents for the organization? His kid. We asked Interpol to investigate the murder for us, but they finally reported that there was no proof of any... I'm glad they're recording it, because we have to go to a commercial. Not many cars have tape decks like that. Uh, have you got their photographs? Mm. Here you are. Thank you. They're not very good. <laughs> Anytown, USA. Japan. Uptown Japan. Bad scouts all about.
Parking is free. You pay at the door. He's got quite a knock in that car. Come in, gentlemen. Come in. We are now entering the final phase of our operation. The time has come for us to use all the means at our disposal. Somebody stop that timpani drummer. And especially Mighty Jack. They have annoyed us too long. I wish you every success in this, our last combat. Good luck, gentlemen. A count. And now, you may go. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. I don't get the joke. Subamaru? 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 That was very odd. <laughs> She's got legs. But she keeps them in a suitcase. She never begs. She knows her like that their place. I could have danced all night. I could have died. That's a woman you're hitting. Hey, that was uncalled for. Hold it right there. That was called for. How do they know who to hit? He just Come wants to beat me. up on her some more. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll take over. <laughs> Not flamingo guitarist. <clears throat> Just one. He should be easy to kill. He's pretty What old. some street performers will do to get an audience. They dubbed his fingers. Oh, Hi. you're back with us again. Where am I? A bus, a requisition. I take requests. Cozy, isn't it? Do you I think George you Michael deserves what they the want? best album for No, faith? I have no idea at all. Maybe they were after my money. Thank you for rescuing me. Nothing. Don't even mention it. I'm going to write a song oh, about you. Something annoying you? You're Manuel Perez. I recognize That's you. That's my street identity. Aren't you Manuel Perez? You've always been a hero for At night, you. I'm... I've read your books. Al Kabong. All about your early struggles. You did such good work in the third world. Are you still involved in politics? <laughs> Well, that all depends on what you mean by politics. There's the politics of dancing. Whoa, feeling good. This is the oh, kind of okay. politics Josh, the guy, I know. Some bad uh, abdominal scarring there. <laughs> Salute. That's entertainment. If it isn't, I don't know what it is. Maybe watching three guys watch a movie would be better. Look after him. Sure. What took you so long? I was beginning to get worried. I had to get undressed. No. But something else happened. Q tried to kidnap me. Oh. Only I was saved by this man, Perez. The guitar player? I got that from Hogan's Heroes. Oh, can I help you? Are you looking for anything special? Oh, no, I'm just browsing around. You see, I have to... No, I'm looking for something travel, awful. So I'm always buying travel guides. Cigarette? Special correspondent for World Magazine, Roberto Okamura. Well, you're the famous writer, aren't you? No, oh, maybe. I read one of your articles a short while ago, and I thought you did a wonderful job describing Q's increasing power in the various countries. I see you have a rather special well, you interest. you think Q's power? A mighty Jack interests you too, I guess. He looks like Frank Connick. Oh, I don't know what you mean. I'm only a sales girl in the store here. Yeah. I just work Zentai. here. We Excuse step me. Out and have a little no problem. <clears throat> What Just the two of us. Can I get you something? Wipe we can face. chat quietly about okay. Mighty Jack. It's got a lot of friends in this store. Roberto. 
I don't think that... Why are those kazoos hung on the wall behind you? In what They're very rare. There. Do you? Uh-uh. Hmm? You're the person in charge here, Mr. Atari, right? Yes, so I... Atari. Yes, the famous Mr. Atari. <laughs> Atari? Hey, you know what puzzles me? The newspapers often talk about Mighty Jack, only <clears throat> the strange thing is that they never mention the crew. Not once. Only the mechanical details, the design, and all its latest equipment. I have a responsibility to our readers. I'd like to write about who the crew is, all the human interest stuff, you know. Well, then write what you have to. Are you all right, Roberto? Lucky he didn't get my typing hand. Come on. Just say the word. But they're hit by a car. Up there, the end. Roof. We'll snap his neck like a. What? What? You are too damn good. Blast it. <sighs> Jerry! Blast it, he had Where a car. Where is it? He got away. <clears throat> oh, what have you got there? Hangnail. I found this on the staircase. Mm. Zegnut. Strange-looking bullet. It's not a it's booger. It's transparent. Huh? He said bullet. I've never seen anything like this before. It's a flash cube. How many times do you have to go? see it? Hmm? Same results as before. Is that so? We raise the heat to 800 degrees without melting it, or even altering its molecular structure. It's definite proof that... Get that dirty hanky off my desk. My Hot Wheels. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They've been listening to everything we've said for the past six years. <laughs> now it's time for payback. Ah, I found it. You knew about that? Sometimes it's necessary to keep the enemy well informed. I <laughs> <the other laughs> knew about the high temperature ice. Now we'll wait and see how they react. Oh. You mean Roberto? Yes. He's an agent of Q. And Perez? An agent There's of no P. There's no proof yet. Catherine's investigating that now. I understand Dr. Takibana will be returning tomorrow. Good. We'll go question him. Is the doctor a Q agent? That's exactly what we intend to find out. A job for you, Atari. Yes. I was walking down the street, and I saw this big fat worm. Interesting lecture. Yes, very I won the big fat worm. Glad you enjoyed it. I did the research at Oxford. Excuse me, doctor. We'd like to speak to and you. Not now. I'm very busy. It's about I'm supposed to say, I too the big fat worm. I too the big fat worm. Crow. Here. What? You're supposed to say, <laughs> I three the big fat worm. Not made of glass. I three the big fat water. worm. I-4, the big fat worm. I believe you were working on I this experiment. I-5, the big fat worm. I-6, the big fat worm. I-7, the big fat worm. I-7, the big fat worm. Uh, would you gentlemen I-7.5, the, the big fat worm. Of course. I-7.826, the big fat worm. I-8, the big fat worm. Oh, uh, ah! yes, I'll take that. Could we... Uh, I didn't even see the worm. Uh, I love is, that gag. Atari, how do you do? Lieutenant Yuri? How do you do? Well, I must go now. Now I've lost the plot. Shall we go to my office? All right. Someone broke in and stole all my records. Ten years of research. I'd nearly completed all my experiments. Even the Chevelle? And then, one day, all my papers were gone. What a tragedy. And now, I see that someone has carried my work to its final stage. Sagnut. Ice that won't melt even under very high temperatures. They won't even melt in your mouth. Atari, have you any idea who could have or your stolen colon. Could it be Dr. von Muller from West Germany? No, I don't think it's him. He's engaged in similar research, though our methods are quite different. Could it be Tab Hunter from the United States? If you analyze this substance, you will see that it could not have been made without using my process. Could it have been Fritz, your assistant? 
No, definitely not. What about Fargo, the state clown of You uh, see, North Fritz Dakota. is my son. What? Well, we got to My go. wife died many yeah, years ago. commercial's coming on. She was Oh, let's get out of here. Fritz is my son. He grew up in Berlin. I understand. Atari, I told you a little while ago, all that work of ten years had been stolen. It was a great loss. But now I realize I was wrong to speak about my work prematurely. It was out of vanity I opened the door for the thief. Seven ten split. That's gonna be hard to beat. Here we are at the fifth frame. Crow is staring at a nasty seven ten split for the inter satellite championship. Good look. It's a good looking good. It is. Bingo. All right. Oh, that puts me over a ninety. Good oh, shot. Oh boy, I hate these rental shoes though. Oh. No matter how much you spray in, they still smell funny. Shh. Wait a minute, I didn't know you could smell. Ixnay. Uh, did I say smell? I, uh, <laughs> I meant spectral analysis, of course. <laughs> hey, uh, let's play murder ball now. Uh, no. No? Hey, I, uh, created you guys. I invented your world, and uh, when I say I want to play murder ball, we play murder ball. Okay, uh, not it. Not it. Wait a minute, do over. Not it. Not it. Not it. Um... How about, I know, let's play rock, scissors, paper with Crow. No way. Very close. No, I'm never going to play that with you. Look at my hand, see? I can only be scissors and you get rock all the time. Well, uh, it's the luck of the draw, you know? Okay, you win everything. Bye, Joel. See you later. Why don't you go home to your mom? I'm your friend. Not. Come on, let's ditch him, dweeb. Hey, thanks for creating me, Joel. Next time, no free will. Movie sign. What do you think? It's hard to say if he's telling the truth, but he sounded very sincere. There's still one suspect. Who? Dr. Von Muller. Thanks for running Let's off, you there. guys. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Jerks. You're the jerk. I'm out of here. Get... Let's ditch him again. Let's stay there. You wuss, you little pansy. Well, well this, is great. Uh, this is great. It's good you're here. I'd like to introduce this gentleman to you. This is Dr. Von Muller. Nice haircut. My assistant. Mohawk. Oh, doctor. That's back doctor. when they were well, illegal. Let's sit down. Hey, you could get arrested for a hairdo like that. Sir. Dr. Von Muller also claims that all his research documents have been stolen. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're I half guess he German, is German. Half French with some Vietnamese mixed in, is that right? Mm-hmm. During the war, I was sent to school in Italy. My parents thought I'd be more sheltered there. I never saw either of them again. They both died in Vietnam. Probably didn't get along too well. I'm sure you suffered a great deal then. Not as much as I'm but suffering today the through this a film. Place. There's so much to live for. There's baseball. Bushes. They say that the happiest people are the ones with faith. Yes, because you gotta have. And a couple faith. of Grammys. Oh. An orange crush. I'm afraid that. I left my cigarette lighter in your store the other day. The one who sure. stole those papers must be working for Q. We have to try and set some kind of trap to discover the traitor. Right? Harry, Eddie? Yes, yes sir. sir. Make right up some papers. Pip, Rico? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Youngblood. Did you see a light? Dano. Ah, oh, there. Um... Here it is. Uh, Rinko. Thank you. And here's something for you. Oh. Well, it's been real nice. Don't open it now. Because I stole it off your shelf. It's a bomb. Kablooey.
fresh fish. Tension's really building now. Mighty Jack. There is. Avanti. See. Been waiting long? Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm yes? going out to eat now. I just came into a little money. You free for dinner tonight? Yes, I am. Well, have a good time, then. <laughs> oh, I borrowed it from her. I friend. love that oh, bit. I see. I know a terrific new place. Come on, get in, okay? Get in. Come on, get in. Uh-oh. There's a gun pointed at her breast. Ah. At least it goes with her outfit. Enter. The gun? Mm-hmm. Oh. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. You can get a get ahead in the underworld if you're polite. Your head Pronto. on the plate, Pronto. maybe. Or you can get your head in underwear. Operazione if you're uno. Operazione uno. A B. A B. Operazione due. Keep up or ca. Uh -uh. That is a near the pool. two completed. Come on, fly with me. A capito. Ben. Pronto. Parmigiano. What did you say? I said... <laughs> In a Mori Bay, they're now constructing the new island for their experiments to replace the old one. But I just gave orders to have it destroyed with our iceberg method. Destroy it? Of course. Once it is destroyed, you will no longer be able to develop the weapons to defeat us. Q will then be the most powerful organization in the world. The whole of the United Nations will have to submit to our will. And Slap we'll be able to make a sequel. You're not going to get away with it, though. Mighty Jack will stop you. Mighty so Jack you will take you high tonight. <gasps> No matter what they try, Mighty Jack is now powerless. No, nothing will help them. Oh, why do you say that? Because I'm a villain, I'm supposed to. <laughs> there is. Contact our agent right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, agent. Not that quickly. I hate gaudy jewelry. It's Adam West, isn't it? My ring is speaking to me. No, an incredible simulation. Hello, Father. Fritz. He doesn't write, you he doesn't call, and then he comes yes. and pulls a gun you on his dad. I realized it long ago. I opened your safe and gave all your records to Q. How could you? All my life's work. You of all people, my own son. My flesh, yes, my I blood. Yes, I you'd say that. My German my son life, of Japanese ancestry. Japanese but inside I'm German. My own son. How much did they give you to betray me and work with those monsters? You've never acknowledged the work that anyone else did. <laughs> All those years, you took the credit. Only now things will be different. I'll have my own laboratory. With Q, I have a great it's laboratory. Future. A great future by stealing another man's ideas. Betraying your father. By dealing with murderers. Yes. Your ideas and ethics are too antiquated for you to understand what we are creating. Tomorrow we'll conquer the whole world. But what about the day after Fritz. tomorrow? Play golf. Why have we come here? I have proof that Dr. Takibana was working for Keith. <gasps> I'm going to check out his apartment. You stay as lookout. Check Can out I his go with tree. You? you stay here. Oh, no. I wouldn't know what to do if someone spotted me here. <gasps> All right, come along.
your master. Marilade. Ah, a nice little toy. A portable synchroton unit. A portable synchroton unit? Yes. A portable Dr. synchroton Tachibon unit. Changes water to ice instantly by accelerating their molecules. With this little device, anyone has the power to alter molecular structure anywhere. Sounds I painful. See. Then you can even make ice bullets? Yes. Oh. And ice cubes in a flash? <laughs> of course. Snow cones? No problem. Mr. Freeze Pops? Of course. You like them thick and frosty? Uh. Uh. It's a right and a left. And another right. She's got a razor. She's gonna take their picture. That's Mary's signal. Just what I've been waiting for. Oh, goody, ash on his head. I assume Q was clever enough to detect if anyone was acting. Mary doesn't know who their agent is. Huh. You're like living dangerously. Let's go, Doctor. Danger, danger. <laughs> I love that one. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, Major, I'm so glad to see Where'd you. Where'd they go? I'm not sure about Dr. Takibana. Roberto tried to stop Fritz, but he got away. He made off with the portable synchrotron. Synchrotron? Yes. Synchrotron turns water to ice in seconds. You can make ice bullets from it. Hello? Dr. Fritz? Safe conversation. Yeah. We'll go ahead as planned. The ship is waiting at the Shubaru Maru dock. Hurry up. Yeah. Q must be trying to help Dr. Takibana and his son escape. Mm. Doctor, better call for a backup. Yes, sir. The man we're waiting for. Fritz. Uh. Well, let's I go. Think, I think Fritz is going to open up his own Senorita, tasty freeze. You're coming with us. And make sure that Dr. Tagibana doesn't commit suicide. Right. Shouldn't be too hard. Papa, kill him. Wait right here. And don't go away. I'll come right back. That would be staying right there, wouldn't Please it? Please don't you try anything for your own good. down there. You cover the other side. Hide behind these Pepsi dispensers. Just another few minutes. I'm sure Fritz will show up. Yes. Roberto. That's why they call him Fritzy Fresh. It's strange you only mentioned Fritz. You should have said Dr. Takibana and Fritz. I see. It's not true. All right, Mr. Q. I think you'd better start talking. So, if Dr. Takibana isn't a Q agent, why did you lead us out here like this? Look! No, you don't! Not that Dad. old one. Roberto! Did he fall down? He was only stalling us to give them time to get away. Now we'll never They'll find out why he led us out here. Get back! Whoa. Get away, exploding drums! It's easier than beating them with sticks. All right, get inside. Come on. Mighty Jack. Mighty Jack. The door will only open for 11 pre-registered voices. You do it. And they're gay. I'm not one of them. Bring her here. Oh. 
Miggy Jack. Miggy Jack. Tasty freeze him. Time for a treat. I don't think shooting me is going to help. You're right. But now we'll get a chance to see how good this gadget is. We're gonna freeze your... Oh, oh, I can't watch. Enough. It could be a whipped cream dispenser. No one would know the difference. Don't shoot her. It's no use. We're lost. Q is too strong. There's nothing we can do to stop them. <laughs> Go on. All done? Didn't they take some kind of oath or something? Hey, they walked down to the set and let's make a deal. Here. Mighty Monty. Eddie, can you get to the pier? Yes, sir. No, I'll go instead. Hurry. Okay. What was that? What was that? <laughs> We've got no time for this. Come on. No time for your dumb gags. Move. Go on. No tricks. Uh, hurry. Uh, oh, oh, man. I said no tricks. Let's get out of here. Wait. Tricks are for kids. OK. And sometimes German scientists. Silly Nazi. So you need that automatic dishwasher. Oh no. <laughs> They're gonna open their own demonic soft ice cream franchise. Okay, come. Very mean. Hold it. What? I've been there, I know. I was a teenage frosty bot. We'll surprise them. Come on. Having fun? Always. <laughs> and Down. loving it. You say something? I'm shocked. Make his extra painful. Mm. Game's up. Oh. Jigs up, Fritz. Don't move. Go on the Fritz. Oh, what? All right. Catherine. Catherine. How are you? A little weak. A little wet. Q is going to. What about Q? They're going to destroy the island in Amori Bay. With the freezing process? Yes. 
I overheard Roberto give the order. It was for today. You must hurry, sir. You must hurry. Oh. Catherine, get back to Mighty Jack. Full scale alert. Yes, sir. Combat station. Yes, yes, yes. Must be a Motel 6 they're staying at. Up down Bodef, Increase Motel speed. 6, and we'll leave the light on for you. Increase speed. Nuclear rockets. Ready to fire. Engine room. Gauge indicates temperatures rising. I thought that was a champagne phone. Oh, it's master. a dilly bar machine. Ready to engage Mighty Jack. Engage Marty Jack. At last. Coolant not reacting. Temperature rising. Decrease speed. Marty and Jack have been going up for years. The iceberg. Jews headquarters. About time. Major, let's hit them right now. We'll never have a better chance than this. Get ready to fire. Right. You're fired. Huh? Who's smoking on this? What is submarine? it? What's wrong? 200. Sir, the temperature's continually rising. Another 100 degrees, and the engine room will explode. What are we going to do? I don't know. We've got to find a Keep way to cool. reduce the temperature. Jerry, see if Dr. Takabana can help us. Go on. Yes, sir. Jerry, they better hurry or Q will blast us right out of here. They're working on the synchrotron now. <laughs> Can't you hurry? They're helpless out there. I'm doing all I can. Try that switch. We still have to paint it. I'll take over. Try the backup system. Yes, sir. Backup system functioning. Yuri, Yuri, how's it going? The temperature's still rising. I can't seem to control it. Hurry, doctor. You've got to get it working. Sir, the temperature is still rising. We'll explode any second. What shall we do? Mm. There is splash water on the side. I've got it. It's working now. It's working. Oh. It's working, it's working. Direct it onto the engines. Okay, I'm ready. Leave it there. Right. Easy. All right, now, fire. Uh, oh, it's working. The ice is melting. The temperature's dropping. The temperature's dropping. Heat ray. Fire in the name Heat ray. No, uh, All systems function. Mighty Jack is the Start guy up. who wrote Seasons in the Sun. Did you know that? We All had right, joy, let's get them. we had fun, we had Seasons in the Sun. <laughs> Mighty Jack Corner. Mighty Jack Corner. Satan's Corner. Laser gun. Laser gun. Launch rockets. I said launch. Can't launch. Second battery. Fire second battery. Third battery! Attack! It's red. They stopped firing. We got them. We got them.
Have a conniption about it while you're at it. He's not happy. Sorry, conniption, give me gas. Knock his sunglasses off. always triumph over evil and but they never go after bad filmmakers that's the problem uh oh i'd like to see spielberg beating up sandy frank well. so that cat is gonna have to take the rap for this whole thing that's right hey slush dogs for everybody Well, that's the end of Q. Good work, man. It was a difficult mission, but we did it. Yes. I hope it wasn't too tough on you. It's been an honor working with you, sir. All right, let's go home. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's us go home, too, huh? Good idea. Open the bay pod doors, Servo. Bye. Everybody, it's our uh, last segment, and that means it's time for the viewer mail. And um, why don't you read yours first, Crow? Okay. Put it up on the screen, Cam. Says, dear Joe and robots, I really like your show, especially the one, the movie that was called Death Flight. The funny part was when Servo says his eye needs some air. I laughed as hard as I could. I think your robots are the best creation in the world, especially Servo. I like it. Must Good be a shape. typo, I think. I think it's, it's handwritten. <laughs> P.S. You're all neat. Cool drawings, too. Great. Yeah, yeah. and um, I got one here, and uh, Kamba put that one up. It's a drawing of Crow. So, Yay! Yeah, and this one says, Hey, Joel, Gypsy, Servo, and Crow. I think your show is great and very cool. Lately, I have been worried about Servo. He seems to be empty-headed and you might do something to fill his head with good thoughts. What do you think of that? You could write me more fan letters and I would create plenty of good thoughts. Okay, nice Crow, like I think that you are the best even though you look like a metal baseball glove with <laughs> eyes. I don't, I don't see that, no, I don't, I with don't know. With my letter, I have enclosed a picture of Crow because he is so cool. He's wrong. Yes. You look like a golf bag with eyes. Right. Okay. And That's Mr. Golf Bag to you, buddy. And it's time for yours now, too. Tom Servo's female call. Um, Put it just up, to this by. letter, it's a lovely letter. Oh, this, we got a picture in it. This young lady here is madly in love with you, and her, her friend, uh, Mike, wrote to you and says and tells you that she likes you. And Let's I see quote the from, Cam Bot. I quote the from the letter. Although this girl is only in high school, you will find that she is a magnificent pagan she-beast. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Her name is Amy, <coughs> and you can write her at my address. It's okay. wonderful, isn't it? Okay, here's the information for the fan club. Keep those cards and letters coming in. Join the few, friends. the proud, the elite. Join the Mystery Science Theater 3000 fan club. Care of TV 23, 2505 Kennedy Street Northeast, Minneapolis, Minnesota 55413. Good. All right, and her picture stays right on the set. You see that? How we got that? Yeah, anyway, okay. see you later, folks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.